many of the companies performing for the 20th anniversary are some of the original dance companies that came in from the very beginning. At the time that this was established, it was an epidemic and had hit the dance community hard. Fortunately, there have been some developments that have caused the problems attendant with AIDS to kind of recede from view over the years, and I certainly think that it will be immensely helpful to have this event on this 20th anniversary of Dance for Life at the Auditorium Theater and perhaps call back into attention the fact that it is still a problem. It started out as a small event, and as the need has arisen and as the interest has grown, it has also gotten bigger. It's still growing. It may not be the flavor of the month as far as causes go, but there is something we can do about it locally and globally. So I think people feel really good about supporting it. Plus, they get to see all their favorite dance companies on one stage for one night, and it's the best deal in town because a lot of other events cost a lot more than Dance for Life. It's a win-win for everybody. They come down to Chicago to see their favorite dance companies or to go to the theater. We're giving them the opportunity to support a worthy cause while they're doing it and they get a dance sampler. They see many different dance companies that perhaps they haven't had the chance to see. They may have seen the Joffrey, but not Ron de Jesus. Over the 20 years, we keep adding and changing so it's fresh every year. So even if someone has been to Dance for Life, they can't just say, oh, I've already been, because it's different every year. The dance companies are different, the numbers they do, Sometimes they're full company performances. Sometimes there's only one or two performers for the company, but it's a showcase for them. So they always want to present their best pieces. Mm -hmm. Dean Richards from WGN is the MC, and he always, you know, moves the program along beautifully. So, and he's been our MC from the beginning too. So there's a lot of continuity, but it's a very quick moving performance, but all the pieces are different. And then we have two world premiere finales. One is by Harrison McEldowney, and the other is by Randy Duncan. It's just phenomenal. You have to see, if you haven't seen it, you have to come see it. The North Shore has always been very supportive of the arts, yet might not be aware that this wonderful event exists. So those of us who do, we both live in Highland Park, for example, encourage our friends and other people that we know to come in and once they do they come every year because they love it they just love it it's just a wonderful evening and you feel real good when it's over you've been entertained and you've also done something good for the community mm -hmm.